All my movies, I play special characters. Is that I play um, a Jalili or a Sonto Alapata or a Tikoni Gedu or a Gashiko Le, you know? Yes, I go a Yefebo, a Eruni Faraye, one zero one point seven. Yes. Oh, Blue was my first time lead character. And what I can never forget on that set was there was a day we were about to shoot a scene where my character, Wally Wola Virginia, Oh, Blue Jr., needs to cry. Yeah. But that day, tears was not just coming. Tears didn't come. And um, the director, Tadio Giron, I give, I give it to him all the time, you know. He tried, you know, to ensure that I cry, and he saw that the tears weren't coming. And, I was, and he said, "Okay, they should wrap up the set because of me. There are no more shooting that day until I'm in, you know, in that form to cry." I was like, ah, "Emma, be no sir, Emma, be, Emma, to try." Like I felt he was upset, but he said he was not upset. But it means I'm not in that character, and you know, I can never forget that day, you know. He is a director that makes you feel you, you're a real actor and um, you know what you're doing. It's a memory good day for me on the whole process. you know Yes. I intentionally want people to see the versatility in me and that's why I came up with the role of Jalili actually. I know so many people have not seen me in that kind of a role before. So many people have not seen me as a comedian before. And I want everybody that knows me as an actor to know that I'm an actor. An actor that should be able to fit in in any kind of role. You know, so, and when I get scripts from other producers, I realize that they cast me for lover boy roles or a wife beater or things like that, so I felt, okay, when I'm producing my own film, I'll make sure that I did not play any lover boy role. You know, so all my movies, I play special characters. Is that I play um, a Jalili or a Sonto Alapata or a Tikoni Gedu or a Gashiko Le, you know. I have played different roles, totally different from Femi Adebayo himself and totally different from what people call me to play outside. Just to show my versatility. Yes. <laughs> Fatherhood means total responsibility to me. You know, total responsibility. I am. I think I'm one of the luckiest I have um, the kind of father that I have, and he has been able to define um, who a good father is. A good father should be able to care for the children, regardless of anything. This is a divine duty as ordained by the Almighty God. You know, you must be able to give that duty. You must be able to show care. You must be able to be responsible. And um, I must be very sincere that I give it to my father that um, he's got a lot of children, that he has almost 21 children, you know, and he can boast that all of them are graduates, you know. He was able to you know, go to that length to ensure that we are educated. And that is one of the reasons that I said fatherhood for me is full responsibility and care from the father. 271121. Eh, Bamishi. Ogunto Yibo. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, madam! Kilobe! 
Eshegoma. How many millions don't fight on TV? Me, you're expecting Koti Mori. Yes. <laughs> what can would they not know if I didn't say it? They probably might not have known how versatile I am as an actor if I didn't act other roles. They probably might not know how good I am as an actor. And of course, they might not even know that I'm a lawyer. They just say, oh, he's an actor. But when I grant interviews and I tell them, okay, I am a lawyer, I was called to the Nigerian bar, I practiced for two years in the law court and all that. And I even have a master's in law. And people be like, are you for Rija Lili? You know. So probably if I didn't say it, I probably don't know. Oh Dagba, oh Darugo, image and Lili Mawaki, oh my gentle, my Jimmy Bobadu, oh Boka Le. Yes, I just feel that we have come of that um, age that um, our movies should be able to stand beside Hollywood movies. You know, fine, we keep saying we don't have governmental support. But um, to a reasonable extent, we can pull things together and ensure that um, we have standard movies. Okay, so the people in the English arena, I produce English films as well, but more of Yoruba films. You know. I've produced quite a number of English films, Diamonds in the Sky, Alima, and all that. There's this general notion that um, quality movies are English movies in Nigeria, you know. And I just need to prove them wrong that um, be it a language film, it can be the best when it comes to the technicalities and you know the quality. And that is what I try to put into Agashikole and to God be glory, we we're able to prove that. You know, so I believe it's gonna be set or it has already set a very high standard for both the English gen and the Yoruba gen, you know. And um, the motive is basically to prove a point that we, we produce language film does not mean we cannot be, you know, very good at what we do and do it very rightly. And um, of course, to showcase the beauty of Yoruba culture to the entire world. And I'm so glad that it has come to stay. It has broken so many records. And that actually made me make a decision that I'll produce epic films every year to showcase the beauty of our culture. My movie, Essay -E, Religion, is on Femi Adebayo TV on YouTube. You know, it's showing there. I want you to see the movie and see the reason why we should be so sensitive about religion, or we shouldn't, or if we practice a particular religion, then do we need to showcase to the entire world, this is my religion, and let me stick to it. Baba to si ama so gudu gudu amo ebi ta ba nlo ni ka kojumo o tumo si wi pe when you are trying to attain success ile ani bi ju mo en to ba ni konju mo lo eti o tumo ma wo ye to si ama so that means you get distractions from here and there but it is advisable you just concentrate so that you get to where you are going my name is Femi Adebayo. I'm a filmmaker and an actor.